everyone in love you're still tuning into culture daily and it's time for trending live my name is amy cherry and today we're doing something different we're not doing the usual telling you what's going on on social media today we're talking about the movie i was here you just watched the trailer and i'm sure you're wondering oh this is going to be something nice yeah we have some interesting guests here with us who are going to tell us more a little more about the movie because I know they're not going, they're not going to tell us everything. <laughs> <laughs> so I have here with me Solomon Fixin Owu yes. and David Mensah. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? Oh, I'm good. Okay. I'm good, Amy Cherry. <laughs> <laughs> the vibe killer. That's right. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> please, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm yeah. Very well, very well. Thank okay. you so much. Okay, I'm going to start with you. Okay. What? You're okay, before that, tell mm. us a little about the movie, just a little. Okay, so um, this movie I was here, it's about a lady called Ashley Gardner. Okay. And Ashley Gardner is a very celebrated public figure. Mm. Uh, so at a height of fame, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. Okay. So she had to depend on the mother and the friends for support and survival. Mm. But through that, she discovered a very devastating secret about one of the friends. Okay. So the okay. question is, what's the secret? Mm. And who was that friend? We leave it to the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we leave it to the cinema. But then, breast cancer. Is it coming out this time because we are in the Breast Cancer Awareness Month? And it's trying to like mm -hmm. bring out something to educate the people. Mm. Okay, so the brains behind this particular movie actually have an experience with breast cancer. Okay. I mean, the director lost the father. To I was breast going cancer. To ask if there was a personal story. Yes, the director lost, and also um, the producer and the executive producer okay. also lost a family member. Even during the shoot, he lost a family member when they were shooting this film oh. through breast cancer. Oh. So, oh. yes, I mean, there are personal stories that uh, relate to the people who are actually doing this project. Okay. So, I mean, it's personal to them, yeah. and it's also strategic. Because we know that if this movie is out at this particular time, yes, yes. when we are talking about breast yes. cancer, we are able to actually push the conversation. That's true. That's true. So yeah, it's That's also true. strategic. Okay, tell us a little about your role, because I could see that you were telling her that you were supposed <laughs> to do this till death do us part. So it means there was a lead role or something like that. Tell us a little about it. Okay, so I play Richard. Richard is um, a nice guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what I'm going to tell you. But right. I, would, I would want you to come to the cinemas and see a lot more of um, Richard's character. But he is such an experience for Ashley. Mm. Because, you know, for someone of a stature going through what she is going through, yeah. everyone is supposed to be empathetic. Mm. Everyone is supposed to come around and That's support. True. But Richard does the exact opposite. He just takes and takes and takes hmm. so insensitive <laughs> it's a it's, it's an interesting character okay yeah you would love it i'm sure Do you know what is making it's making me feel like you might be the person she found out something about yeah <laughs> 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 oh, i'm getting there uh, right. that's interesting okay that's, that's so just good. my guess yeah. because of yeah. the way you are yeah that's richard but then that's richard. you're just giving yourself out a little i don't yeah. think that is but then being an actor like in this movie you had to be in an emotion or you had to be in a particular character just take us through that well you know um the stories that came from the director and the executive director and also nadia bori herself mm. she lost a friend to to breast cancer as oh. well so all these stories are you know just enough to prepare you as an actor and to yeah. put you in that space too so i depended a lot on on these stories that were shared and I also went into the script and I felt that there's a beautiful story mm. that we must tell. Yeah. And I was, I was all up for it. Okay, mm. okay. what of you? Okay, so um, there's something in acting called substitution. Okay. And substitution is when you use real life experiences mm. to be able to activate yeah. certain emotions. So um, I play the role of a man of God, a charismatic man oh. of God. Uh -huh. <laughs> so um, just hearing these stories, because I love to have conversations with the director, know their expectations yeah. and know how well to deliver. Yeah. So when they speak to me about most of these personal experiences, mm. you know, it's been, it's able to activate certain things that you don't even expect to come out. Okay. It just okay. happens. It's based yeah. on instincts. Yeah. So like he said, we're just depending on these stories to motivate us to give our best. Okay. Okay. You are giving your best. What mm. is the impact you want 
to what what impact are you expecting for it to have on the audience or the viewers? Okay, one key thing I discovered yesterday, I didn't know mm. that men also suffer from breast cancer. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know. I discovered that yesterday yeah. through an interview. Yeah, I know, I know a lot of people don't know that. They would always say, ladies, let us check. Mm, that. Right. They don't know that the men are also. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, was, I was really, really, really enlightened yesterday. Yeah. So, I am looking forward to this conversation not only being dependent on okay. just the women, yeah. but we should bring the men also into the conversation. Yes. There yeah. are men who their girlfriends, fiancés and wife have suffered from mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. and it's not easy for them going through yeah. that experience. Yeah. So we yeah. want to bring the men on board That's so true. that at least we can unify yes. both genders yeah. and also fight this cancer together. That's right. Thank you. All right. So I know you, you don't want to tell us too much, but I want to know your highlights while acting the movie or your favorite parts or anything while well, acting. The, I'm, I know there's some points that you'd be like, ah, this part, maybe it was down, maybe <laughs> I liked it. Just tell us a little. Okay, that will be uh, my final, meet, Richard's final meeting with Ashley okay. in, the, in the story. That was, that was the highlight for me because that's, that shows how insensitive the guy is. Mm. You know, she was, yeah, yeah, yeah. she is, <laughs> I mean, he is so callous. Mm. She was at the brink of death, mm. the brink of destruction. Mm. And this guy went there to take the only thing that he's interested in with no regard. You know, it, it, it made me think, and, and that's a reality. There are people who are going through stuff and because of some relationships that they have developed over mm. the period, even though it's sucking them dry, Mm. They can still not be able to shake themselves off mm. of those relationships. Mm. And this movie is going to tell you something about relationships like that and how to handle it. Mm. Yeah. So mm. I think that was a beautiful scene. I loved it okay. and it, it spoke mm. to me a lot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're really piquing my interest. What's the view, please? Um, I preached. Oh. So my highlight is preaching. <laughs> Wait, that means it's not something you do. No, all. no, no. So that no. was like putting you in the feet of the preacher? Oh, no, but I've been a preacher before when I was very active in church. Oh, uh, I, was, I, was, I was a prayer warrior before. Before? Uh, before. What uh, happened? Oh, nothing happened. It's <laughs> called life. <laughs> okay, okay. So I, I preach. My highlight is that there is a word in there for you and the entire um, household of three music. So when you come, your message is there. We'll yes, be looking right. for our message. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be looking for our message. But before yes. we go, we want to know difficult moments as well in filming. Mm -hmm. We know that the industry is not... Like, there are some challenges. We want mm. to know your difficult times in shooting. Um, with this particular project, I can't say there was any difficult time. Mm -hmm. I think that the production was well-structured. Okay. I mean, um, you know when you're supposed to film, the time you're yeah. supposed to film, the day mm. you're supposed to film. They provided costume. I mean, the pay was good. Mm. Uh -huh. So, I mean, that one day we have to say about this particular production. <laughs> they right. did well. Okay. Right. They paid okay. good. So, we did not really experience... I think one of the most difficult thing was when it was raining at one particular time but I mean it's, it's a weather a, issue yeah, you can't do anything about it. Yeah. Do so, you have yeah. any difficulties? Yeah. Uh, I mean I would have to agree with Solomon. Mm -hmm. It was such a wonderful set. Okay. They were they were so generous. Okay. Everyone was ready to give. Everyone was available to okay. help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't think of any difficulties. Yeah. Okay. okay. Could yeah. you just tell us a little about production? About production? Yeah. Well it is a wonderful space that you could ever be. I'm, I'm having fun. Mm. I mean, I love what I'm doing and okay. I'm having fun. It's a lot, it entails a lot. Mm. Mm. You get the opportunity to meet people, you get the opportunity to learn a lot. And you, 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 it's a place where you can push yourself. You never know how much you can do mm. until you are in this space and you realize, oh, you, you could actually go this mm. far. Mm. So it's a wonderful place to be. It's, okay. it, it, it pays, actually. Yeah. <laughs> all right, you find all yourself right, in the right, right places, you, you would enjoy it. So. I love I love that you said when you find yourself <laughs> in the right places because someone's right. story might not be the same That's as right. yours. That's okay, right. so we're going to wrap up, but you have to tell us what time this movie is premiering, the date for someone who doesn't know, mm -hmm. and you tell us why you would want someone. Already, you've, you've piqued my interest, wow. but I need to tell someone why they need to come and watch. So please tell us the date. Where's my camera? 
Oh. <laughs> okay, so hello, people. So um, I was here. You just look straight. Again. I was here. I was here. Is premiering this evening at the Silver Best Cinemas, Accra Mall and West Hills Mall, and two showings, seven p.m. and nine p.m. And the ticket is a cool hundred Ghana cities. So you can call this number zero five five three ten one forty to make your ticket reservation. If you look on the poster too, there is a QR code. Um, what do we call it? Scan there that yeah. you can just scan. It will take you straight to the website. Then you can make your ticket reservation. Listen, we need to fight cancer together. And one of the ways that we can do that is through audiovisual storytelling because yeah. it's able to register a lot when you leave the cinema. So come, let's watch this movie together. It's a family-oriented movie. There is no stuff in there that you can't watch with your kids. So come with them. If you've had any experience, just come and let's share together. Thank all you. All right, all right, all right. So finally. Yeah, and there's going to be a lot of education. Mm. I mean, this film is going to teach all of us a lot. Yeah. And um, I'm, I'm just encouraging you to come out in your numbers, and I can't wait to see you. Yes, we can't wait to see you. Yeah. I am interested, so I'd love to be there to watch I Was Here. There are lots of lovely cast there. I see Nadia Bwari. It's been a long time we saw her in a movie, mm -hmm. yeah. so this is definitely something you would love to see. Yeah. My name is Amy Cherry, and this was Trending Live. This time for Big Conversation with Atongo, so you need to stay tuned. Have a lovely day. Yeah.